once again. Lord willing, I would like to first start off by saying, Brakothi Yahawa, Brakothi Yahawa Shai, Brakothi Yahawa, Brakothi Yahawa Shai, Brakothi Yahawa, Brakothi Yahawa Shai, Kal Halal Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rika Kodash. We always give double honors to our true beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Our head apostle Tahar come down. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Shalom to the elect, hopeful elect of men, women and children. All the praises, all the glory, all our strength, all our exaltation, all our might goes to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. So be it. This is just a short, comforting message to the hopeful elect. A message to the hopeful elect. Because only the elect will hold fast in that great day. And that great day is coming. That great day is coming. The elect will hold fast in that great day. Now through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, I googled the word hold fast. And it reads, if you hold something fast, you hold it tightly and firmly. All right? Then it added this. It added this now. It says, if something is stuck fast, S-T-U-C-K, if something is stuck fast, it is stuck very firmly and cannot move. You see? So it gave me the definition of hold fast, which is you hold it tightly and firmly. Then it added stock fast, stuck fast. It is stuck very firmly and cannot move. So let's go to um, the book of Hebrews 10 verse 23. Let us hold fast and prof the profession of our faith right without wavering so you're holding on tight and you're not moving you're stuck fast without wavering nothing's going to budge the elect nothing's going to force the elect to go to, to go to the left or to the right it would just stay firmly in the center unmovable hebrews 10 verse 23 let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. It's all about the faith. Our apostles keep pushing. It's all about, listen, we have to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, but it's not going to save us. It's the faith. It's the grace of our Heavenly Father is going to save us. The faith without wavering. This is a message to the to the hopeful elect. The hopeful elect. Right? I say it again, Baba Kasha. Hebrews 10 verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. Who promised? Going back to the name. Who promised? The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai promised all these things. All right? Let the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai be true and every man a liar. Everything the Lord says, you know, is true.
is impossible for Yahweh Bar Sham Yahushai to lie. It is impossible. Right? So I'm going to read this in the book of Joel. Joel 2 verse 10. I'm going to start from there. Joel 2 verse 10. The earth shall shake. Salakir. The earth shall quake. Before them, the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. The day for the day of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with all fasting and with all weeping and with mourning. Turn to the Lord now. This is the time to turn to the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Because this is the time now to build up our faith. To build our faith. So you become unmovable. Right? You hold fast. You're stuck fast. You cannot move. You cannot waver. This is why this is the time now to build up your faith. And I'm speaking to myself too. To build your faith. All right, so I'm going to go back to Joel 2 verse 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong, and that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Who can abide it all right so remember this is a message to the hopeful elect the elect will hold fast in that great day so let's go to that word abide who can abide it oh you know where we're going now you know where we're going who can abide this great day Thirty-five, fifty-seven. Cool, cool, cool. Right? He says, contain, feed, sustain, abide, nourish, hold. Ooh, hold. You remember I said that word? Hold fast. Receive, victual, bear. Who could bear that day? Comprehended. So let's read some more words from the outline of the biblical usage. To siege, to contain, measure, to calculate. This, listen, this is down to the elect, you know. The elect is going to sustain, maintain, contain, support, nourish, hold, right? Restrain, to support, endure. You see the word endure, right? To sustain, endure, right? To contain, hold, Hold in, endure. And let's go to that famous scripture. Our famous scripture, Matthew 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But he that in, shall endure. Who is going to endure? It's only the elect is going to endure. That's why we say, we hope and pray that we are of the elect. Because only the elect is going to endure only the elect is going to hold fast 
only the elect is going to stock fast, unmovable. You see, the elect. This message is going out to the hopeful elect. What? Let me read a little bit more down. It says, cool, primitive word, properly to keep in, hence, to measure figuratively, to maintain, um, be able to, right? The elect, abide, bear, um, comp comprehend, right? What wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time? There is only the elect going to comprehend what's going on and they're going to endure. Morgan says, contain, feed, forbearing, guide, hold, nourish, to present, make provisions, receive, sustain, provide, substance, sub, substance, sub, substance, substance, provide, provides, sustain, Sustenance, <laughs> sustenance, right? It's all about the elect. Let's get one more scripture here. Lord willing, right? I hope this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekha Kudash. Isaiah 43 verse 10 to 11. Ye are my witnesses, save the Lord our power. Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And my servant whom I have chosen. The servants are the elect. Right? The humble servants who the Lord has chosen are also known as the elect. That ye may know and believe me and understand. Oh, you comprehend. You comprehend that I am he. Before me there was no power formed, neither shall there be after me. How, how, listen to me, listen, listen, listen. Who is Yahweh? He's the ancient of days. He has no beginning and he has no end. So how any other power can be before Yahweh when he has no beginning? No, he is. He has no beginning, no end. And who can come after him? Nobody can be before him. Nobody can be after him. That is our heavenly father, Yahweh, the ancient of days. And his son is Yahweh Shai. He's the Alpha and Omega. Right? He shed his precious blood on the cross. You're not going to call in the name of the Lord. You're not going to bow and worship your house, eh? Right? You see, there's nothing new under the sun. You're going to have false prophets and you're going to have true prophets. Okay? And we are finding the true prophets right now. The head apostles from Great Millstone. And we speak the hundred percent truth. One hundred percent truth. Verse eleven: I even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no savior. Right? There's no none. Just check it out one more time. Right? This message is to the hopeful elect. Okay? Isaiah 43 verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord our power, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no power formed Neither shall there be after me. Wow. That's the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. The power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. 
I, even I am the Lord. And beside me, I, there, me, there is no savior. Kal halal Yahweh ba'asham Yahushai. Brak the Yahweh ba'asham Yahushai. All the praises given to Yahweh ba'asham Yahushai. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of Yahweh ba'asham Yahushai is a strong tower. Okay. Hebrews 10 verse 23 and this applies to me too okay let us hold fast the profession of our faith it's all about building up our faith building as daily building our faith to that great day of the Lord because we're in the year 2024 the year of Jacob's trouble we have to try our best, beg our Heavenly Father to build up our faith because that great day is approaching, right? Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Hebrews 10 verse 23. You see these, these, these holy scriptures? This book is a living power. Yes? Hold on to wisdom. Hold on to wisdom with your dear, with your all your strength. Never let wisdom go. Now may... The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Bakakudash bless each and one of us in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rakakudash. And if it wasn't for our apostles to give us those names, nothing would be possible because everything we do. Right? When we're in pain, we call upon those names. When we are happy, we call upon those names. When we are sad, we call upon those names. When we are sick, we call upon those names. Everything we do, we do it in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rikar Kudash. The elect will hold fast in that great day. Okay? So continue to hold fast. Continue to stock fast, unmovable. Right? So again, this message goes out to the hopeful elect. Okay? I pray in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekakudash that our Heavenly Father returns sooner than when we believe. Sooner than when we believe. That we can cry and call upon Him when He comes and returns and say, Lord, save me, save me, Lord. Right? Because that great day is coming. That terrible, terrible great day is coming. So once again, all the praises given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Brakoth Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rikar Kodash. And we give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Our elder bishops come down, elders come down. Starting from Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Aramlab. Love our apostles. Love them. We love our apostles of Great Minstone. Okay? Because how does it go again? The, 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 the shepherd know their sheep. They know their flock. And when they're in need of food, there are our teachers. They are ready to, to give us food to eat, to nourish us. Right? Nourish us. All right, so all the praises is given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So be true.
so be true. Right? Shalom.